welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not watched my videos before, I do kind of weekly vlogs, lifestyle vlogs, um, Disney content and all of the kind of normal 26 year old stuff. <laughs> but if you haven't seen my most recent uploads, um, you might not know that I am pregnant. Um, this is being pre-filmed. It feels a little strange filming this because we're not sure yet when we're going to um, tell people and things like that but if this video is online then we would have told people by now <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kind of do um, like weekly or two weekly updates um, on the progress of my pregnancy because I've all of a sudden been really into watching videos like this since finding out obviously like the first trimester when you haven't told people feels a little like lonely in a way because it's amazing being in this like little secret baby bubble <laughs> with Ollie um but also there's no one to like speak to for advice or to be like hey is this normal kind of thing um so I thought doing these videos hopefully might help other people obviously I know everyone's experiences are so so different um so I think so far um you would have had our announcement video um i will just catch you up so i am currently six weeks pregnant today um i found out a week ago yesterday so yeah um that week's actually gone really quickly i said in my um in our announcement video i kind of did a little intro and i was saying the reasons why i thought i was pregnant um like my symptoms i'd had and things like that and so far um this week that i've known the symptoms have continued um so i guess i'll just kind of document the symptoms i'm having each week and see how they change and things like that um i still have really sore boobs <laughs> um my back is still a bit sore but only when i sit in certain positions it's not all of the time um I'm getting like cramps sometimes like kind of like period cramps obviously they're not period cramps but that kind of feeling but nowhere near as bad as I do when I'm actually having a period um my teeth are still a little bit sensitive but I've kind of been avoiding things that make them hurt so like before when I had an ice cream or if I had tea things like that would make my front teeth really hurt I have noticed <laughs> which I'm not happy about is that I've like I can feel with my tongue like it's like a bit of enamel's gone off my teeth and like there's like a slightly darker patch um on my tooth which isn't ideal because <laughs> I don't like I, you know I like having <laughs> I want to have white teeth um and like healthy teeth and it feels kind of rough I don't know if that's normal like I know teeth can be weaker in pregnancy and things like that and I have this awful not habit because it's not something I do like I have this awful habit of I've always like as I've been drinking I feel like because my front teeth are quite big <laughs> I've quite often like hit them with a glass like they're just in the way <laughs> I'm an idiot I know um so I don't know if I've done that but obviously where I'm pregnant it's like got weaker and it's just knocked off the enamel um I don't know I don't really know if dentists are open right now so I'm just kind of going with it for now and seeing I'm obviously just being careful when I brush them I normally brush them quite hard so I'm trying to do it a bit more gently and yeah <laughs> there's some tooth advice for you tooth not advice there's some tooth updates for you um but what other things um the one of the main things that I've not really known whether it's me or because it's been hot right now in general but i am so hot like wearing this is the first time i've worn anything with sleeves for absolutely ages but it's like quite chilly today like ollie's walking around like freezing shivering and i've got all the windows open because i'm boiling um but yeah i finally just cooled off enough and i was like oh, i want to wear this jumper so yeah it's a spirit jersey they're super thin um but it's like 11 degrees so it's not it's not hot but i am just warm all of the time like particularly at night I am so hot at night, um, but I've had to have a window open like all the time, which I don't normally do because I'm scared of spiders coming in, but I just feel like I just need fresh air constantly. Um, what else? I've not had any headaches touch wood. I had like a slight one two days ago, but not anywhere near as bad as I normally get. My skin is like, I've had hormonal acne here for like eight months now. Um, I don't know if it's acne, but like spots. Um, I've got a couple of new ones come up for the last couple of days, but I don't know what's going on with that, if that's going to change. Um, 
from what else. The two main things that are like affecting me are tiredness and like feeling sick. Um, I'm super lucky I've not been sick yet. <laughs> I'm sure that's to come. Um, but I feel sick a lot. And like certain foods and smells, like I feel like I'm very high end. I have, I'm a very high end person anyway. Like my sense of smell, hearing, everything is like, like I'm very sensitive to things. Um, but even more so now, like I can smell everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, but yesterday morning, Ollie brought me porridge and I normally like porridge, normally fine. But he brought it to me, like even saying it is making me like, Oh, oh, I can't even talk about it, but it didn't make me feel good. Like I tried eating it for a bit and then I just couldn't, like I was like, no. So baby doesn't like porridge <laughs> right now. Um, and yesterday, like I was just laying on the sofa all day because I just felt so tired. Like, and I just do, like I wake up feeling exhausted and it doesn't go. It's not like, oh, waking up and feeling groggy and then it passes when you get out of bed. No, it's like, I feel like I've been like drugged. <laughs> I'm just so sleepy. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that, to, for that to pass because I just don't like not feeling productive. Like the house is probably the biggest mess it's been ever. Um, it's not that bad, but I normally just like things to be just so, but I guess that's training for having a baby, isn't it? Cause that's not gonna be the case. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just being really tired, um, but, I would say in the last week, so I'm kind of talking over week five because obviously it's just the day one of week six today. In the last week, I was really, and the week before that, I was waking up at about 4 a.m. and that was me for the day. No wonder I was tired, <laughs> but I would wake up and I just couldn't sleep. And I don't know if that's like, I didn't even know I was pregnant for some of that. That was like one of the reasons I kind of thought something was up. But yeah, I'm not sure why. I don't know if I was just getting so hot, but I've had the fan on and the window open. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of the tiredness passing. But then also, you don't want to have no symptoms because it's a sign that, you know, things are working as they should and babies are growing. So yeah, that's kind of an update on how I've been feeling. Um, you would have seen at some point, I'm not sure where that footage is going what's obviously i'm filming this all quite in advance but basically the day after i found out i was pregnant i also found out i was being made redundant or like most likely being made redundant um so it was a whirlwind of emotions which when you're pregnant your emotions are already a little bit crazy and i'm a very emotional person anyway so yeah it's been a lot like i feel like surprisingly calm um and I don't know if it's just because I'm just in shock. <laughs> but I just think everything will work out like it will be fine. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll quickly read out what the app says the baby's doing right now. Um, so I've got two apps. I've got one called um, Ovia Pregnancy and one called Baby Center. Um, I only got Baby Center today because I think Ovia Pregnancy, I think, is an American one, which is fine. But obviously just references are slightly different and stuff. Um, but this is just like a little cartoon that it says baby is looking like right now. Um, and it says, uh, Bubba has tiny little buds that are just want waiting to bloom into arms and his eyes are beginning to form. Many women in this week of their pregnancy experience morning sickness as well as as well as exhaustion um so if you're not feeling them yet now's a good time to clean up your diet and get plenty of water and exercise to try and head them off before they hit um Barbara is now the size of a blueberry measuring approximately a quarter of an inch long this may not seem huge but just think about how much he's grown in the last month from a tiny collection of cells to the increasingly complex human being to be who is currently in the process of sprouting all of his facial features his cute little nose and curious eyes are just starting to form although they still merely look like dark little spots on oversized head on an on a, doesn't say it Passages and arches that will grow and develop into parts of Bubba's ears and jaw are forming and his nose won't be far behind. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of that kind of thing, telling me I'm going to feel sick and that I should rest and all of that stuff. Um, there is on the other app on the baby centre, there's like more of a picture. I don't know how accurate it is because it, or it looks like, it makes it look like I don't know, it's very weird. So 
so it looks like a little baby alien right now <laughs> it's very strange um but yeah so the other app says it's a blueberry and this one says it's a lentil and i think they're pretty different in size so i'm not sure but um anyway i'm six weeks pregnant today apparently that's like roughly like what we think so obviously i've got an appointment oh yeah don't even if i know i've told you that so i've got appointments coming up um i had to self-refer myself through the hospital and the same day they got back to me with my appointments um so my first one is on the 27th of june i think which is a saturday i think and that is just like a booking in appointment i guess like just to discuss the pregnancy it's not a scan or anything like that which obviously I just that's just how it is but I just really really want to have a scan um my scan isn't until isn't until the 24th of July which it's currently the 4th of June so it's bloody ages away but I know you can't rush these things but we are kind of maybe considering um looking at having like a private like reassurance scan um in the next few weeks like obviously right now with the virus and things we're just leaving it for a bit but it is an option um but yeah i think that's pretty much my updates for now i didn't want to film for absolutely ages i just wanted to just do these little short videos for me to be able to look back on we can chat in the comments if anyone else is you know a similar time into their pregnancy and we can talk about this and things like that but something else i wanted to quickly show you is i know like a lot of people don't do this and i know it's very early days but um I make items which lots of you know um so I wanted to make myself a little t-shirt so it's just on a black t-shirt that I just had already and it just says um there may be something there that wasn't there before and that's I think what I'm gonna wear when we do a pregnancy reveal and I'm gonna have it like obviously it's over my tummy and then Ollie stand behind me with his hands there and then just take a photo of either just like a close-up of my tummy or us, I don't know, but I just think that's a really cute way. Um, yeah, obviously it's very early days and until we have a scan and things like that, we, you know, we don't know, but I just think there's no harm in getting, getting excited, like, and doing these little things. I know, I know everyone eats to their own, but I'm aware of the, what can happen, but I just wanted to do that. Um, and something else I made is this little hat it just says baby frapwell that's our surname and it, i don't know if you can see it's just got little stars on it and it's super cute and then to match it in exactly the same like font and design i've got a little baby baby vest and i just think it is so cute like a little vest and hat <laughs> so yeah i've been being a bit little bit busy doing little things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to do a little update and leave in the comments below if you're pregnant or if you've been pregnant. And yeah, that's the update really. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. We cross over borders, get where we are and it's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you